and we've got the Dolphins versatile running back he's the NFL's ultimate red zone back and your leader in rushing touchdowns it's the Dolphins and the Bills and it's coming up as the sun up next. starts to set we're going to see how much light is left by the end of this early evening game here on the NFL on EA Sports on the line in this one. Kate Scott, Brock Heward here with you as we get set for a division rematch. Brock, one side seeking the sweep and the other looking for some revenge after how that first showdown went. What do they say about familiarity? Familiarity does what? It, it breeds something, Brock. It breeds... Uh, <laughs> Con yeah, it, yeah, yeah, it breeds contempt. Yeah. These teams don't like each other. They could fake it. They could say all the right things in the papers. They don't want any bulletin board material. But the fact is, you know your division foes better than anybody, and they know you. One final month to push for the playoffs or start preparing for the future. Here we go in week 14. And no return as this bounces through the end zone for a touchback. So here come the Bills for their opening drive. And leading them out, someone who's still the pride of Wyoming University and Fireball California, one of the league's best and biggest arms, Josh Allen. Last week, Kate, you won't call his effort wasted, never. But you wish a game like that would have come in a win instead of showing up in a contest they ended up dropping. Two touchdowns, no picks. That's the type of game that wins are typically built off of. And he found some running room for a nice game. Call it seven yards, and now they'll have second down and three. From the 37. Cook calls it in. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. That just might be a throw he regretted as soon as you let it go. I know that feeling. He was doing all he could to find a completion down the field, but they were all over that check down and ready to turn it into a negative play. They come to the line here, and this is third and six. Trying to throw here out of the gun. Rifles it, and it's caught. And he's down after getting this up to the 41. Call it seven yards on the play, and that's enough for the first down. Out of the ship, hit behind the line, and the ball is loose. And no turnover, it's going to stay with the offense. Well, you don't like to see the fumble, but hey, at least they were able to be the ones to recover it, and they keep possession. Yeah, and I think the key there was to stay calm through the chaos. Cooler heads prevailed. They got him the ball back. Throwing now off play action. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. His first target doesn't lead to his first catch. And things look tougher now with third and long. Throwing here, Allen. And the Dolphins are there to bring him down. And the defense comes through. And that's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. That sure ended up being a worst-case scenario. Pass rush just kept coming and coming and bearing down. And he was looking for an escape that wasn't there. It's one of those plays in hindsight, Kate, where you really got to understand, I got to cut bait, cut my losses, and avoid such a negative play. The Bills with a punt team out there. And this will bring a drive that had some promise to a disappointing end. He's got it at the 21. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. So here come the Dolphins as they get set for their debut series. And bringing them out, someone this defense is really going to have to keep an eye on this mobile QB. And when we look back at last week's win, Kate, pretty easy to see those four touchdowns. Got more of an impact on the game than the one interception he threw. Wasn't quite perfect. I'm sure that pick will nag at him. But you'd welcome an encore of everything else he was doing in that ball game. This one's hauled in on the left side. The big play and that's him 17 yards. And that's going to give the Dolphins a first down. A jolt to start that drive. They're up near the 45-yard line. Play action on first down. He's going to get this complete to his running back. And he goes out, just need one more step there to reach midfield. Second and six coming up here. From the 
48. This one's taken in by Hill. And he'll have it down to the 44-yard line. Eight yards on the gain, and the drive continues forward. From the 44-yard line now, first and 10. Tight end going in motion here. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's marked down, looks like, at the 32-yard line. It's a gain of 12 there. And it'll be first down, Miami. Motion man is the tight end here, going left. Throwing it again here. The Bills get close, and they take him down. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down, coming up. And look at that. All that effort and success from the previous play, it is gone. Credit to this defense. You snap and clear. That's part of this game. You've got to snap and clear. Give up a big play, come back and make a big one for yourself. And they do get home that side. Second down. Another try following the sack. Quick hitter complete. And he stopped at the 31 yard line. Quarterbacks will look for their tight end short in just about any situation. They take away the deeper options. Well, there's their consistent source of positive yardage, the trusty tight end. He's got it at the five. And he will score. Touchdown, Miami. The Dolphins have a great first drive and get the game's first points. So our first score of the game here is they cap off that drive with a touchdown. It's really what you're looking for, Kate, offensively. You want to force the other guys into thinking they need to play a little catch-up right away. So a nice job to get that first score and take early control of this game. That one splits the uprights. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. The Dolphins have their kickoff team out as they kick it away. Kickoff taken at the three. And that's where they'll begin the drive following the return. The Bills and quarterback Josh Allen ready to get back to work now on offense. And he's kept up the pace all season long to the point. Look, he's in the top five across the NFL in passing. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. Connects with Cook. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. Brings up second and five at the 32-yard line. Here's a give up the middle. And he gets back to the line, but no more. No gain on the play, and it leaves them with third and five. Brings up third down and five. Motioning left is Mechie. Shotgun now on third down. That's caught. It's the Clemson rookie. 30. It's the 10. And he will score. Touchdown, Buffalo. The Bills get it down to a single point. There sure was a lot of trust on that play, Brock, and he proved worthy of it with that end result. Yeah, good old receiver. Someone who just knows how to get it into the end zone is worth his weight in gold to a QB. And on that throw, there was trust there that he had a shot to find Pater. That one right down the middle. And we're all knotted up. Going to be taken in at the eight. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. They'll come out throwing. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And they're going to bring him down just beyond the 30 at the 31. 
After a good pickup, they've got second and four. From the 31. Finds a man on the right side. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. We're a quarter of the way through on this chilly winter afternoon. Both teams neck and neck so far. We'll return to Highmark Stadium in just a moment. Back for the start of quarter number two. It's Dolphin football as we begin. They'll have an easy third and one. They'll try and pick this up on the ground. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. I think one thing you learn, Kate, when you transition from college to the NFL, not every run is going to be a big play. Some of them, well, they're just destined to end in a minimal game, and some of them will set up that critical play action for later. Here's someone from a family of punters, Ryan Stonehouse, on the punt on four. Got it at the 16. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. That punt goes 63 yards. And that is where they'll start the next drive. They're out and set, first and 10. Out of the gun, they'll give it to him inside. And he's still looking for the play that sparks the ground game as that one stopped for a loss. Offense to the line for second down. Allen setting up to throw. Short pass caught by his tight end. And that will not be enough for a first down. Short yardage situation here. It's third and two. Cook trying this one up the gut. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. You know, I'm not sure what else could have been done there, Kate. Just the right call defensively to come up with a third and short stop. They'll bring out the punter here. And this will be his second effort of the contest. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. The Dolphins are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. And it's been such an incredible season for him. As we play our final month of football, he's leading the NFL in passing yards. They'll throw on first. No hesitation, and that one's caught. And this one doesn't go far. There's no routes on the old proverbial route tree cake that takes more trust than throwing an out route. You're throwing it to a spot and believing your guy can get there. Running back sent in motion left. And his perfect start is over. And that's the first one of his throws to wind up incomplete. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Takes the handoff, now to throw. He has the first over the middle. And they'll get him down after he gets into the 48. A big play, 23 yards to move those chains. You know, Kate, you'll find teams go to this crossing route concept sometimes a dozen times a game. And a lot of times it's for shorter yardage, but sometimes things break in the right coverage for a much bigger impact play, just like that. First and 10, ball set up at the 48. He'll throw it yet again. Here's a throw on the out route, complete. And he's able to reach the 40 on that play. Second and three now. They are throwing it again. And he doesn't see a window he likes, so he just got rid of that one. That brings up third down. Complete 
be on the marker. And he's going to be brought down at the 35-yard line. Pick up a five on that play. And that's going to give the Dolphins a first down. They're set up at the 35 now. They go play action on first. Complete out to the right. Now hang on, looks like somebody came out after that play, a little shaken up. Not sure we saw exactly what happened, but he'll get some assistance now. All right, I'll set up now, first and 10. They'll throw it again. Rifles it and it's caught. And he stopped just before he reaches the red zone at the 21. Second and six coming up here. From the 21. This one is tipped away and incomplete. Good positioning to make a play on it. That forces third down. They're going play action. He just throws this one away. No resistance offered against the rush. It came off the line ready to maul anything in sight. It was all the QB could do to get rid of that before he gets absolutely clobbered. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that's going to break our tie and give him a three-point advantage. I never saw a play script that ended with a field goal. It was always a touchdown that you wanted. But that's three points, and it's enough to give him the lead. Return starts at the nine. And this drive will start inside the 25. The Bills offense all set for their next drive. They were only on the field for three plays their prior series, Brock. Let's see what changes they make to take over here. They'll run here on first down. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. Give him 11 yards, Brock, and a fresh set of downs. Offensive coordinators tell us all the time, big runs only happen with coordinated efforts. Great block in the spring of guys hitting blocks downfield and a back who can show off his wheels. They're set up at the 35 now. Allen. A lot of defenders got some offense in their background, <laughs> and it's been my life experience that they'll tell you about it. And right there, he put it on display. He brought in the pick and instantly became a runner, searching for the open field to add a little something-something to the return. The Dolphins ready for their next series, let out on offense by their quarterback. And he already has a passing touchdown in this game, as you can see, that's what he's done with regularity all year, sitting among the NFL leaders in that category. Trying to throw here out of the gun. Got his man on the end, complete. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Second and six coming up here. He's dropping back to throw. Hits his man on the out route. And he has it down officially to the red zone at the 20. Chance to move the chains here on third and four. He'll throw it. Looking right, and he brings it in. And they're going to get this down to the four before being stopped. That one goes for 15, and now they're going to have first and goal. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains. There wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. Back now, pressure on its way. And he will score. Touchdown, Miami. The Dolphins grow their lead just before halftime. 
Well, we've certainly gotten used to calling his touchdowns all season, haven't we? There have been a lot of them, Brock. And that last one makes it official. Pop that cork, baby. The receiving record for touchdowns in a season. And the level of opposition he's overcome, especially as he neared this record, the whole world watching every team, doing all they can, committing extra resources to stop him. Well, they can't do it. And all he did was score, 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 score. The Dolphins have their kickoff team out as they kick it away. Return coming from the six. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. The Bills offense takes over. Not much time remaining in the half. They could use something to trim that deficit and enough time left to maybe get this near field goal range. It's another first half mistake. He's intercepted again. Picked off Kendall Fuller. And the Dolphins are going to have it after his second interception of the season. Okay, Brock, now back-to-back -back drives where they have picked him off. That's got to be a worrying trend for these coaches who know how integral the passing game is to their game plan and their success. Those poker players, the best of them, when they figure out a tell, they know exactly how to beat their opponent. This defense right now, they're reading this quarterback like a book. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Quick hitter complete. And he's brought down. They're going to mark him at the 14. Miami calls a timeout here. It's second. Still on the move. Coming to the line for first and 10. Working inside the red zone. Caught near the goal line. The Dolphins will add to their lead at the end of the half. A second touchdown through the air for him, Brock, and independent of the game situation, we both know he's going to be happy to leave the field with two of them in one game. One touchdown, you just might be right time, right place, but two touchdowns in a game is always about the preparation. The separations of the preparation. It's doing that work on the practice field and knowing before the game that when my number's called, I'm going to be there to deliver. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. The Dolphins have their kickoff team out as they kick it away. Return starts at the nine. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. The Bills getting one more drive here before the break. Not a whole lot of time left for him to put something together here before the break. Trying to shake off the interception. He's looking to throw. Oh, brother, it's another interception. Jamin Ramsey comes up with it. Oh, man, Brock, somebody, those other leaders on that sideline, they've got to sit him down and calm him down. Three consecutive drives now where he's thrown an interception. Yeah, this defense is just all over him. Seeing every throw, anticipating these routes before they're even run. When he's dropping back to throw, and I know this feeling, it's horrible as a quarterback. It feels like there's 20 defenders out there on this defense. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. Throwing off the play fake here. Down the middle, complete. And he's brought down real close to that goal line at the one. They rip off a big chunk of field and it sets him up with first and goal. The Dolphins choosing to spend their final time out here. And that's all they've got for what little remains of this half. Only time left for one more snap, Brock, so they're gonna run out their field goal unit. Angling this one in from the right hash to challenge here. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. 
And that extends the lead to 20. Okay, one of the areas that kickers and quarterbacks are similar, they want to get into rhythm. And no better way to feel good and get into that rhythm and start a game two for two as a kicker. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. Throwing it just before halftime. Couldn't connect right side. It's incomplete. That brings us to the break. The visiting Dolphins holding an early advantage. Now it's down to Florida, where Jonathan Coachman is standing by in Orlando for the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Kate, thanks very much. More from you and Brock in a moment. But first, time for a look around the NFL to see what's going on here and what's already been an eventful afternoon of football. We'll start up at MetLife Stadium in New Jersey, where it was the Jets who were able to come away with the win at home. Garrett Wilson leading the way with three touchdown catches. Next, we head off to check out another game. And they trail in that one as it's the visiting 49ers who are out in front. The 49ers trying to gut this one out as it would be a good victory for them if they could get it. Lastly, we head to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. Check on the Patriots. And it was the visiting Chicago Bears who come away with the victory. Caleb Williams leading the way in the victory with three touchdown passes. This was an extremely one-sided first half. One team showed up ready to go. The other's been in a daze thus far, but there's still plenty of time left for this one to tighten up significantly. All right, thank you, Coach. And we are back and about set to begin the second half. Bass now to kick this away. Return coming from the six. He lost the football, and the fumble recovery is made. I wonder, bro, who's got a birthday over on that sideline because they got a gift to begin this second half. Their offense getting an immediate chance to do something about this deficit. And that gift delivered by the special teams, right? Everybody talks about the offensive defensive adjustments, but the last voice is that special teams going set the tone. And boy, did they ever to begin the second half. And they get this down to the 10 yard line before going down. That play goes for 19 and a new set of downs. Year after year, the best offenses are multifaceted. It's not just the receivers or the tight ends that can make plays through the air. When you get running backs that can attack the middle of the field like that, man, is it difficult on a defense. Option design here. And this is brought to a halt pretty early at about the eight. He'll get two yards, and that brings up second down. Brings up second and eight. Another one for Cook. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. Five yards on the play. They could just do that again. Third and two coming up. Brings up third and two. Back to throw now. with the touchdown. It's only half the points, but at least there's something to show for the possession. Return coming from the six. And in the end, Brock, an exciting touchback as the return comes out to the 30. Back out on offense. Their quarterback returning to the field now. And as we're reminded of some of the highlights of this game, his touchdowns ranking quite high among You've had a pretty darn good game. First and 10 now from the 30. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule.
the NFL is safe. A one-point lead, something that looks insurmountable. How many of these games so often come down to one possession in the end? With a half a football left, you too many possessions. and 10 from the 42. There's a handoff up the gut. And he works this to the 38 before going down. Give him five on that carry, bringing up second and five. shallow throw and not much doing he stopped quickly so now here's third and five brings up third and five motioning left is Mechie third down from the gun he had it for a moment but a great defensive play to jar it loose incomplete just couldn't hang on through the contact and that leaves them with fourth and five. And this kick is good. He needed to get all of it there, and he did. And the gap closes to 14 points. A lot of them may make it look automatic, but you get this deep, and those field goals are far from a certainty. It took all this concentration, every bit of his strength, to send that puppy through. This return starts at the five. And this drive will start inside the 25. The Miami offense headed out there now. And taking a look at these highlights, Brock, just a reminder of the type of game that they have had throwing the football. It really has been the key to their success. Yeah, they've just not only stayed on schedule here, Cake. Man, they've made some music, right? Great mm. rhythm. Yeah. Not just ahead of schedule, but huge plays that follow. We've seen a lot of different looks and wrinkles throughout this performance, and it's been a joy to watch. On first down, they'll run. And he won't win the race to the outside. That runs bottled up at the line. Second and ten. Need to get some positive yardage here. He'll throw it. He finds his running back. Nice work. Complete. And he's brought down for a loss. That pass, it did put him in a position where he had to shake a defender. That's all you want. Give me a one-on-one. -on -one. He is capable of doing it, but not against that dude. Uh-uh, that defender could not be shook. He knocked him back across the line. He lobs it up, looking deep to the right side. He's got it inside the 25. And he does quite a bit of damage before they finally take him down. You know, Kate, we often talk about flipping the field in special teams, right? A, a kick return, a good punt. Well, an explosive play like that does the exact same thing. Look at the difference in field position. By hitting on that shot, you've totally flipped the field and the tone of this drive. So a massive gain, and all of a sudden, we've got first and ten inside the red zone. Here's the handoff. And he gets a few on the punch forward. You know, not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game. The type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. The game's here on second. And they bring him down at the seven-yard line. Nine-yard pickup, and it sets him up with first and goal. That's the type of call that offensively, man, it just builds so much confidence. I don't even think they were looking to get the first down. Just get to a manageable third down. But instead, they move the chains, and that is one disheartening look. And he will score! Touchdown, Miami! The Dolphins lengthen the lead at the end of the third. Well, Brock, not much to say other than the fact that this offense on point, they are just clicking today. Just rolling. I mean, this, this is clinic. This is what I call teaching tape. Being well prepared, and more importantly, going out there and executing at a high level. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead.
The Dolphins have their kickoff team out as they kick it away. Return coming from the six. And this drive will start inside the 25. Set, first and ten. Allen looking to throw. Connects with Mechie. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. They come through with a nice gain of ten and a first down. Shotgun handoff now to Cook. And he'll do what he can. That carry gets to the 35-yard line. Manages just a yard on first down. Now it's going to be second and nine. Brings up second and nine. So we're through three here. It's the Bills ball as we start the fourth, but any efforts may be futile facing that deficit. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Throwing here, Allen. Gets this to Kincaid. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target, thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you got a bully like him that can create space, they just find a way to get him the ball. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free, incomplete. As a defense, you got to see the pass. You got to time up your hit, and you got to jar that ball loose. Not a lot of offensive players are hanging on to that one through a well placed hit. Trying to push this past the marker, and he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Easily had the yardage for a first, but he was hungry for a lot more. I think that tackle prevented something that was going to be a lot bigger than just a first down pickup. Now Allen. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Ball and defender arrived at the exact same time there. And that'll bring up second down. Allen to throw. He's taken down. The Dolphins rush gets home. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. In a situation like this, you got to be a fixer. I mean, this game is hard. And you get into passing, known passing situations, it gets even more difficult. But when you don't get rid of the ball and you take another sack, you make this third down a near impossibility. Here he is on third and long. He hauls it in. And he's got a decent game before being brought down. You know, I, I like the completion. You never turn down a completion. That's just not the right throw to make in that spot to move the chains. Here he goes. Got to have this on fourth down. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's officially in enemy territory now. They're going to give him the opposing 49. And this won't get close. They make the stand and force the turnover on downs. You go for it on fourth down. It's got to be something from the short list of plays you expect to work every time. If that one's on the short list, I think it's got to be reevaluated. Something wasn't working on it, and it cost them a possession. The Dolphins in pretty good field position here as they come up first and ten. And just gets back to the line of scrimmage. No gain there that time, and it's second and ten. Back to the well again. And he's brought down after a short gain. Only two yards on the play, and it brings up third and eight. A two-yard gain on the play. And it's third 
Another carry for him. And they'll get him down after he gets into the 48. Two yards on that run. That's going to bring up fourth and six. So the Dolphins ready for the punt. And he wants to hit his second effort just as well as he hit his first. His first punt win 50. This is away and looks even better. Oh, he nearly coughed and cornered that one just a little too far. And it's out of the side of the end zone for a touchback. They'll get this drive started. First and 10. Allen setting up to throw. Connects with Cook. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. A big play, 23 yards to move those chains. A jolt to start that drive. They're up near the 45-yard line. They send a receiver in motion right. Here's Allen. Pass complete to Mechie. And he'll be brought down a step or two shy of midfield. They're going to mark him at the 48. Got his man on the end. Complete. And he'll have it down to the 44-yard line. A dose of the hurry-up offense here. Throwing from the gun. Got a man over the middle. Complete. And he works this to the 38 before going down. Second and four. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose. Incomplete. Dalton Kincaid, the intended target. And now they need to get four on third down. They bring Mechie in motion. From the gun on third down. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Hit arrived as the ball did to break things up. And fourth and four coming up. Allen. And on fourth down, that one won't work. It's incomplete. So the defense rises to the challenge and gives the ball back to their offense. The offense returning to the field now as we get a look at their wideouts. Hey, I get it. it's already over, but go down swinging. Unfortunately, that play, like so many of them today, Kate, has been pretty indicative of how this contest has gone. Motion in the tight end now. A give now from the gun. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. First down play, now some five. It's going to be second and five. It's the two-minute warning from Miami. Dolphins, moments away from win number 12. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. They'll run here from the gun. Past midfield to the 45. And he's finally taken down at the 39-yard line. It's a gain of 19 on the play. And it'll be first down Miami. started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. Back-to-back -back carries here. And he'll get this down at the 33-yard line. Well, that doesn't net a first down. You get yards like that in the run game, you will take it in the NFL. So it's a win for the visiting Dolphins. And this winning streak continues to grow as they claim their fourth victory in a row. So for Brock Heward, our incredible crew, everybody here at EA Sports,
I'm Kate Scott signing off. We'll see you next time.